on that judgment of pace, coaches and players sometimes tend to give uh, an unnecessary measurement, either in the length of the backswing, it's got to be four inches or five inches or six inches, etc., or the speed of the cue. You know, they try to give it a measurement uh, on a short one, it's got to travel at five mile an hour. On a medium one, it's got to travel at 10 mile an hour. On a long one, it's going to travel at 15 mile an hour. Well, it's just over complicating the issue, right? We're trying to introduce uh, mechanics too much into the game. It's a question of feel as much as anything. Now, on the subject of, of the length of the backswing, I'm a short, stocky fellow, right? And if a, a six inch backswing might be quite a long backswing for me, but somebody who's well over six foot with long limbs, that short, that six inch backswing will be relatively short. So, you know, again, it's a question of feel. Don't start to overcomplicate the issue. It's inevitable that if I'm going to hit the ball harder, then the cue is going to travel faster. But I'm, the last thing I want to do is try and give it a measurement. Uh, that applies with the backswing as well. You know, for me, from there, uh, a long backswing is back to the thumb. But that will be only used in extreme cases where I'm really giving it a power shot. From there, it will really, you know, demand a lot of power because of the length of the backswing. Now, the other thing I want to emphasize while we're talking about this is to whether we use, uh, shall we say, the pendulum method or the driving method. If we look at, shall we make the comparison, shall we say, between Judd Trump and Ronnie O'Sullivan. We've got Judd Trump, okay, he's left-handed, just I'm just gonna uh, try and copy him right-handed. So from there, he will play the shot and he will keep his elbow high, what we call the pendulum method, and from there, the elbow will remain fairly high. It doesn't drop. Whereas with Ronnie, you use a driving method. So from there, it probably go to there, but then drop and go through. So more of a driving method where the elbow drops as well. Granted, he's using more muscles, but equally, they're all in unison. And he gets through the ball a lot better. So from there, there is a more consistent strike shall we say from there because the muscles are nice and relaxed there's no tension and you get a feel for the shot a lot better now which is right and which is wrong well that's an individual thing i'm not going to advocate that one is better than the other what puts those balls in the pocket is right if it ain't broken you don't fix it all right but certainly Ronnie gets through the ball better than most other players, or certainly further. But if you're getting through that ball, then you may better make sure that you get through in it straight, which Ronnie does, of course. If I want to uh, pop this red and screw back, bringing the white back to this cushion, I'd like to use a longish backswing, but I'm certainly not giving it a, a measurement. So from there it's quite long, right, but get through the ball nice and smooth. Now whichever method you use, whether you keep that elbow high or drop it as in a driving technique, don't matter which one you use, they need constant practice to A, to establish the, that you're delivering the cue straight and then once you've done it, more and more practice to maintain that, that action.